And I don't think I know this about you. How did you, it's kind of a deep question, but like, how did you find God? How did you end up in the church? I happen to be kind of like born into it. Other people found it later. What's like your story? So yeah, I was I was born in the church. I was just kind of like feeling, and they were like, "You got to go to church," and I'm like, "All right, I don't know any different." So I showed up to church, and it was just like, "All right, cool." For some reason, I was like really into like the music. So like anytime they did like the the gospel song, I was like, <laughs> "Let's go!" I was super excited. I was like, I still remember this when I was like three years old. It was like the only memory I have is like going to church and just like I don't even remember what the song was. But I was like, this is my favorite song. Right. Like, yeah, it was a bop. I was loving it. Right. But uh, yeah, no. So uh, after that, I was just kind of like, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go to church. It's like, oh, these stories are cool. So, <laughs> about them. so everybody's like, you're a nerd. I'm like, no, these stories are dope. What do you right. mean? And then I was like, then I like really got into uh, my faith when I was in college because of a pretty girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is usually what happens. <laughs> I was like, so I pulled I pulled up to church one day because I was like, all right, I should probably not get into a whole lot of trouble. So I pulled up to church, like it was like the second week. And I was just like, all right, cool. I'm here. And then like all of a sudden somebody starts singing in the choir. I'm like, ooh, over there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fun. It's like, oh, like Jesus, I'm not mad. But uh, you might have left an angel down here. You could keep her down here. That's okay. <laughs> and then they were like, we have mass on Thursday. I'm like, we have church on Thursday. Right. And we'll be there. And right. then I started showing up and my entire life both elevated and declined from there. <laughs> so was, that's funny because I feel like you're definitely not the first person who really got more into church because of like a girl or a relationship. I feel like I know a few people that that ends up being the case. Oh, definitely. And that's not a bad thing. Um, so where then did your like love of music start? Do you think it started with like church or did you already like music before then? I, I don't know. I think there's always been like something that's been in my life. It's always supposed to be like in my life. Um, like for example, my uncle, like, I don't know. It was weird because like my uncle used to be able to like play any instrument. Like mm -hmm. Ants could take the harmonica and just play whatever he wanted. Right. It was crazy. I guess he could sing really well. I heard a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, I didn't really know my uncle super well when I was like a super little kid. Like at least not in that context. It was just like, all right, cool, whatever. Uh, when I was about five years old, my mom brought a piano home because she used to play the piano. Mm -hmm. It was like a little keyboard. I actually have it. This is the keyboard that I have. Move my. Okay. That keyboard right there. I was about five years old. It looks mad old right now. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like a nineteen year old keyboard. Dang. <laughs> yeah. So I was about five years old, and like for some reason, I was like enamored with it. Mm -hmm. Like. I always wanted to be like a cowboy too. So like we would like have like country concerts with like our fake little guitars or whatever. Gotcha. Now I got like real, now I got like real little guitars. <laughs> that I still don't know how to play. Right. But I'll be trying. <laughs> but my first thing officially when I came to music was I had gotten the keyboard and I was just playing some notes on it. And somehow I had found that they had taught you how to play songs. So I learned <laughs> how to play the first Noel Mm -hmm. Like on the lessons, it's still on there. I could probably do it right now. Right. I'm not going to. But, <laughs> but it's super cool. Like I was able to like play the notes and I like memorized it and I was able to play it by ear. Mm -hmm. And then I got to a point where I was like, oh, this sounds cool with it. And this is like me, a little five year old, just five year old Cody Free, just chilling, right. playing this. I had no idea I was going to be a rapper. Right. And so my mom was just like, wait, what? How is he? Is this Mozart? No. <laughs> no, this is just my son. Uh, <laughs> so I had done this and it's like, whatever. All right, cool. Like, let's just play the notes. And my mom's like, you're good at this. I'm like, I am? Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm going to sign you up for piano lessons, but I'm going to teach them. And I fell off because I just stopped doing them for a while. Right. 
this seems to be a pattern in my life. I just stopped doing this. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, after that, I was still like really into it and I was still like goof around on it. But I never like took it serious. So then my mom was like, all right, we're gonna get you real lessons. Right. So I went down the, down the street and like I took like piano lessons until I was in 12th grade. So from like six or seven to 12th grade. Wow. Like I classically trained the piano. That's super dope. I uh, my sister used to take piano lessons. I I can read music, but I'm not the best at playing the music that I can read. If that makes sense. But I I, right. I wish I was better at the piano. So this is always fun. Is seeing how. So I would start with how'd you get into church and God, and then how'd you get into music. So how did you like discover that Christian rap was a thing? Or actually, I guess I should backtrack rap in general when did you get into rap from the piano into yo people be like rhyming on on beats <laughs> first of all i didn't even know that was a thing for a good minute right i had heard yeah by usher and that was the only rap music that i had known that counts because <laughs> all my family listened to was country mm -hmm. interesting Literally, i could not listen to anything but country on my car ride it sounds I know terrible country, like no <laughs> country is a bop don't even count <laughs> Country is dope. <laughs> I was embarrassed to show my, to share my Spotify rap because half of what I listen to is country. Interesting. It's not what my parents listen to because they don't listen to very good country. Right. But there are some pops that they like. <laughs> there are some pops for real. <laughs> but you no, know, like half my Spotify rap was messed up. We can talk about that later. All right. <laughs> but no, like my. So, I had started listening to country, and I was like, eh whatever so after that i had gotten to a point where i was like all right cool here is what i can do with music my mom was like you should do country music i'm like i don't have a southern accent <laughs> <laughs> that's not a prerequisite you gotta at least be able to fake it right now i've gotten to the point where i probably could but that's a whole different story <laughs> <laughs> but anyways I had finally like about sixth grade. I was like, oh, rap is a thing. People rhyme over beats. Yep. But like my parents only listened to like the hip hop stuff that like the news would talk about. Okay. <laughs> so it was like just hip hop is so violent and so aggressive. I'm like, it's, it's it's so like unintelligent. I'm like, what do you mean it's unintelligent? I'm like, fine, it's unintelligent. Then I can do it. Right. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Like, let's do this. So I just started writing rhymes. Really? And then in eighth grade, I got a girlfriend and she broke up with me. So <laughs> I was heartbroken. Right. The first time. Actually, not the first time, whatever. That's a whole other story. <laughs> Again, that seems to be a pattern right. going through my life, too. It is what it is, though. Uh, <laughs> but. I had a girlfriend and she introduced me to Eminem. Mm. And so I was on YouTube watching Eminem music videos all the time. Right. Being scarred for life in eighth grade. It was great. <laughs> You're right to say that version of Eminem was something. <laughs> right. Like the first thing she showed me was the Michael Jackson diss track. Just lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was a Michael Jackson diss oh, track. I didn't know who Michael Jackson was. Right. Right. I really didn't. <laughs> I knew who Brad, I knew who Brad Paisley was. I told mm. you, that was it. And most of y'all that are read, that are watching this probably have no idea who those people. Are. Yeah. They know. They're just disappointed. They probably know who Brad Paisley and Toby Keith <laughs> are. That's about it. <laughs> y'all know nothing about Luke Combs. <laughs> Actually, maybe a little. So did you? Because I think a lot of people like Lil Wayne. I feel like it was either Wayne uh, or Eminem was like a lot of people our ages, like right. intro to rap. Not gonna lie, so when I was younger, I would say like, you know how we all go through this identity crisis type thing when we're younger? That's good. Like, yeah, kind of. Like, you you don't want to be like... Friends, any friends. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so do, do wonders like AI anomalies. Or him, I know that, right? Saga, who was on, rap on, on the same top. beats. You're definitely more lyrical, so like you're not... I actually knew a guy in Miami that he was going to the same gym. And I tweeted like last week that someday I'm gonna have a song with him. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Um, so, 